Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you the Boolean operations that Figma has to offer. The first operation I'm gonna show you is called the union. So essentially it is the combination of two objects uh, put together. So if we create two shapes, so let's create two rectangles. Uh, let's make that red just to differentiate between each other and we've put them, overlap them together. If we select both of them and hit the um, drop down here and union this selection, what's gonna happen is gonna combine them into its own object. So let's do that. And now we've got one object with its own color. And if you add a stroke, it's gonna add a stroke for both of the objects inside. Again, if you go to the left uh, panel, you can select the drop down where you've made that union and you can still edit your shapes if you need to. For example, that's the second shape here and you can do whatever you want with it. Um, where is this useful? For example, I've done this in the past where I've created a tooltip for one of my uh, projects really quickly. So for instance, I created a, a rectangle, let's make it white, and let's create a uh, polygon as well. Um, gonna lighten that one. So I've created a polygon here. I've selected both and I did union selection. And now when you add a stroke to it, you've got your tooltip or your speech bubble, whatever you wanna call it. All right, let's move on to the subtract operation now. So here we have uh, a set of shapes. So for instance, um, we've got our shapes over here on the right hand side that we're gonna be using um, to subtract from this square. See so if we move these shapes on top of the square and as you can see in the layer panel, that rectangle here is below all of these other shapes. So all of these other shapes above are gonna be used to subtract area from this square. So for instance, let's select everything here, go on the drop down and click subtract selection. As you can see, we've subtracted all of these shapes from this square. Now inside the actual layer panel, if you open that up, you can see all of these shapes are still there. So you can adjust them however you want, and then you can keep your um, subtracted selection and you can even add strokes to it if you'd like. And it'll give the strokes to all of the um, outlines that the subtract has created. So where is this useful? Um, I've created a lot of icon packs in the past and I've used it quite heavily to create something like this. I'll quickly show you how I did that icon over there. So essentially I've created a bunch of shapes. Let's move them together and subtract that selection. There we've got a, a plus here. Now let's move these two together and overlap it over the icon. And now what we can do is we can select the larger shape here and subtract that from the um, file icon here. And here we've got it. The third Boolean operation is called intersect. Now I haven't used this much in the past. I've only used it to create shapes, for example, like this. Essentially what intersect is, it is an uh, overlap between two particular shapes. So any, any overlap between two shapes is going to remain visible. Anything outside of that overlap is going to get hidden. So for example, um, to create this shape, what I did was I created a subtract um, element here. So I've got a donut shape, I've got a star and I've just created, um, let's give it eight points and increase the width of the star. I overlap them together. And then when I've selected both of these, I hit the uh, Boolean uh, group um, drop down and hit intersect and now you've got a cog. Once you've got the shape selected, uh, you can see that we've selected the intersect um, group and we can add corner radius to it to make it look pretty. And there we have it. The last Boolean operation is called exclude. So this is the opposite of intersect. Essentially any overlap between two shapes is going to be deleted. So for example, I've got two shapes. If I hit the drop down and hit exclude, that's going to remove that middle section. Now, where is this useful? This is very useful creating um, funky stuff like this. So for example, imagine we've got our um, icon of a heart here and we wanna intersect this text in the middle. So what we're gonna do is place it together hit the drop down to exclude selection. And now you've got this kind of funky design that you can play around with. The beauty of the exclude operation is that you can still edit your text while it's been excluded. So for example, um, if I wanna rename this to something else, let's call it something else, you can still do that while it, it's inside the exclude group. I hope this has been really helpful for you. Um, if you really enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and have a great day.